Hello, welcome to Nina's Nuts Crochet. I'm Lenann. If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet, a little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn, and my journey in this fabulous yarning community. You guys, thanks so much to all my OGs for coming back and spending a little bit of your Saturday with me um, for day 16 of Vlogmas. Um, Today's not going to be really long. I've just got a little bit of happy mail and we're going to open my cornbread and honey. Um, I got a couple of Christmas cards. Well, I have got one Christmas card and a gift from Bree from Breezy's Crafty Creations. Or did I say that right? I'll look at her card. Anyway, um, a little update. I squirreled again. I frogged that entire shawl, the um, crescent shallow shawl, single crochet shawl I was doing. The pattern wasn't difficult. It wasn't, um, it, it's a great pattern and I intend to do that, um, but not in that cotton and not changing colors. It, and, and, and it's not even that it was more my head space. Um, I just need something that I don't even have to look at the pattern. And this is one where you have to put increases in and then there's rows of special stitches. And I'm like, oh, I don't have the brain power for that. So that got frogged and put aside. I'm going to do it because I really, really, really liked the idea. It was a solid crescent. And then you had like a, and it wasn't, she called it, um, oh gosh darn it. I can't think of what the, the term she called it, but like windows, but it really wasn't. It was extended single crochets that created this opening, open work. And then you, in the last section is this lace work. It's a beautiful pattern and I'm definitely going to get back to it, um, I was just thinking about it when I was frogging it all because I want to use that cotton linen yarn on other things. Next year, Judy at Judy's Creations and Crochet, her, well, in 2024, like next month, she's changing the uh, picture inspiration cal from flowers to exotic birds. And I thought that would be so beautiful in some of my... Uh, really funky striped cakes that I've got some really bright colors let the yarn go and let the and let the pattern just flow and I think it'll be really beautiful so I'm excited to pick that pattern back up uh, sometime next year when Judy puts a pattern out a uh, picture out there and I've got the right yarn for it so I'll get back to it but in the meantime I have been working on my uh, post virus saw and it is coming along and now I'm just I'm finishing it out I did two sections of the post which like I said I didn't really do posts I did the alpine stitch instead because I didn't want lined up uh, stripes I just wanted some pretty texture and I only did half of the rows for the uh, green. So I have a big section of red, a little section in green, and then I'm going to finish it out in white. And I probably should get this done today. I have this much left on my wool genie. I have one more if I want to go bigger. And I probably will because, you know, but this is, I think this is turning out so pretty. This is going to be great for Christmas morning. Um, I am using my very favorite, the Nako Mona Lisa yarn. I love this stuff. This is making such a beautiful shawl. I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to just keep going until I go through all the ivory yarn I've got in this because I just think it's gorgeous. So anyway, that will be my Christmas shawl. So 
I, I'm, I'm loving it. Um, happy mail. The first one is a card. This comes from Susan Stuckey in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I love these. Isn't that a beautiful sticker? I think that's so pretty. So she sent this. Came in yesterday's mail. Okay. Everybody needs to get on Timu and get a bunch of these to open your mail and to open packages because you're not going to cut yourself. You can use this on packing tape too. Uh, I think the package of 12 was like, I don't know, less than five bucks and opens everything. So just a little FYI. Oh, I love this card. Merry Christmas. It's an old fashioned Santa. Isn't that adorable? I love that. I love those vintage colors. And it says, wishing you a merry season that Santa brings you and that bright to see bring. <laughs> Let's try this again. Wishing you a merry season and that Santa brings you everything on your list. Your yarny friend, Sue S. And I, I'll save the letter for myself. And then from Brie, I got this beautiful card. And who doesn't want to live in a cabin, right? Not with the snow. Can we have a cabin in Lake Florida? Okay. Um, it says, may this time of warm traditions be especially happy for you and yours. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love, Brie. Breezy's Crafty Creations. So that is the card from Brie. And she sent this box and in this box oh, she I got one of her peak look at that is that not gorgeous Bree did your husband make this did he laser cut this because this is beautiful absolutely beautiful and she put breezy's crafty creations on the back wow Bree, that is amazing. Amazing. Well, I will find a place for sure to put that. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful job. Thank you so much, both Sue and Bree, for thinking about me during this season. Um, now, I'm going to try to put it in here. Um... I'm not sure if I can figure it out. If I can't figure it out at the end, I'm going to put in a little clip. If you have been following um, my husband, Tom, opening up his Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer um, advent calendar, my granddaughter, Charlotte, she is a Peepaw's girl. She calls him Peepaw. I'm Nina. She's He's Peepaw. And... She is all about her people. She's four. Yesterday, I got a video from my daughter of Charlotte watching Tom open his advent. And it is the sweetest thing. I cut the video down a lot because I didn't want to show her face. But you'll get the gist of it. So I'm going to try to pop it in here and see if it will work. If not, I will put it at the end. And it's just a sweet grandma moment. I just wanted to share with you. Sydney Lynn, Peter. Jackson, Carson, Trey, Charlotte, Carter, and Olivia. Got them all. Hi, Charlotte. I know you watch me. <laughs> Hi, people. <laughs> and now for the action. So here we go. So, uh, day 16. Are you ready? I am so in love with this palette. This is my advent box from Cornbread and Honey, who is a independent dyer in Painesville, Ohio. Um, this is the boho themed box. Uh, she had mentioned that she was going to do a second run. So you have time, maybe. I don't know. I haven't talked to her in a couple of days. I don't know where she is in the process, but you might be able to get one of these done if you hurry. So anyway, day 16, you know how this goes. I am going to 
close my eyes, reach in, pull out a beautiful color, I'm hoping. Oh, yeah. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that's a really pretty pink. Now, Laura at Mad Mimi said that this look, this color looked the, like the darkest part of the inside of a conch shell. Well, now you got these together. Doesn't that look like the inside of a conch shell? I'm loving this. This palette is amazing. Amazing. And uh, she is using fingering weight um, mini skein, 75, 25 Merino, 92 yards. And I have no quarrels. This, look how beautiful this palette is turning out to be. I love this. It's just so gorgeous. I, you know, I'm going to have to sit on this for a while because this is going to require the perfect perfect pattern to do. Okay, don't fall because that'll be a mess. Okay, so you guys, that's it. Short and sweet for a Saturday. Um, I really do appreciate you. Uh, everybody here in Central Florida batting down the hatches. I guess there's some really wicked storms headed our way. I hope Nancy's safe in Georgia. I've been thinking about her since the alerts came out. We've got some really, really rough stuff headed this way um, tonight and into tomorrow. I mean, they even put out a flash flood warning already, and it hasn't even started raining. So, you know, everybody stay safe. I know everybody's dealing with crazy weather, um, especially this time of year. So with that, I am going to let you go until later on this afternoon. Remember to take care of yourself. Get some quality crafting time. Enjoy the holidays. This is, you know, the last weekend before Christmas. Uh, do something fun. Um, just take care of yourself and the ones you love. But above all, be kind to everyone. And we will talk to you later this afternoon. Bye.